Alright, I see the sign. The museum is open. Let's just take a quick look inside. Okay. Yep, one one day. One day? Yep. Well that's not long. <laughs> it was a whole day. Where are you from? <clears throat> well, I'm homeless for three and a half years, so I've been bouncing from city to city. Yeah. So I'm not I really can't say I'm from anywhere. Cities are are bad places to be. Oh I mean town to town. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah, cops cops are a little more strict in the cities than they are the towns. Mm. Yeah. Nastier too, usually. Nastier as in where, what do you mean? What are you trying to imply here? <laughs> well, I don't know, I guess stricter or something. Okay, all right. So this is the Button Museum. Um, this whole area here um, was uh, donated by... An individual? Yeah, a guy Somebody. from Haley. Um, here's his picture over here. A picture of him? Yeah, him and his wife. What this, year was that? This is 1900, this is 1955, their 50th wedding anniversary. So the collection stopped about 1955? Or what, what time? Uh, I'm what? Not sure. Maybe the 60s. I'm not 56. Sure. So. Yeah, I'm not sure when he died, but he collected his whole life. You know? Yeah, it's like some people chose stamps, he chose buttons. So you can kind of get a, you can kind of estimate when he died by the, the, wherever the most recent button is. Mm -hmm. Well, they added, I mean, they've got like some carry. Oh, you, and, and, and Obama oh, down there. Yeah. I didn't, okay, yeah. all right. Yeah, so. Huh. Yeah, that's, that's uh, interesting. <clears throat> he must have had good access to buttons, because I don't, you know, I, I don't know how you'd, you'd collect so many unless he was actually in some kind of trading group. Yeah, I don't know about that. You know, I, I've seen that uh, carriage... That carriage museum, somebody, some rich guy was collecting old carriages, you know, before the cars became popular. Yeah. And he had like 30, 40, that's in, that's in Raymond, Washington. Are you taking pictures? Yes, I am. Yeah, you can take pictures as long as you don't make any money off them. Okay. We have to tell everybody that. All right. <laughs> Just in case you, you know. Yeah, in case someone wants, to, wants to get like a, a card uh, business and use our stuff. <laughs> Card business? Oh, greeting cards, you know. Greeting cards? No, I'm not making any greeting no, cards. No, but some people, you know, that, that's why we have to tell people that. Yeah, I forget things easy. Yeah. So I like to record, and if I wanted to go back to something, mm -hmm. you know, I'd look back at it. I like that. That hearing aid is very unique. Yeah. Never seen anything like that. <clears throat> yeah. Too well, but no, it's all they had back then. This John Haley, uh, yep. the town was named after him. Yep, 
<clears throat> yeah, it's, uh, it was originally named something else, and then they said it was too common of a name, so they... they was it? The, post, the postmasters... It was either this town, or maybe it was the one over, I don't know. Oh. The postmaster said the name was too common, so... Yeah. He, you know, I was surprised that the postmaster stepped in and said the name was too common. It was one of these three cities, or, or towns around here. I'm not aware that uh, it had any other name besides Yeah. Yeah, I'd have to look at Wikipedia again. I forget which one it is. Mm -hmm. It was either Haley or uh, that one north of here or uh, Bellevue. What's what's the one north of here? Ketchum. Ketchum. That might that might have been it, actually. Postmaster said the, the other name was too common. Mm -hmm. An early bathtub. Hmm. So do you have do you know of any other uh, people who are uh, like big collectors and they they turn their stuff into you guys? Well, or is that stamp I've, stamp I've, one? I haven't been here that long. But you know you know about the stamp guy. Uh, you mean the buttons and stuff? The buttons. Yeah. yeah why did I say it's stamp? Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, I meant I meant the buttons. Yeah. I, over the years, there have been people that have donated. Things. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been more of a collective from just yeah. several different and people. When they can afford it, if they when, see something somewhere, um, you know, they'll One family they'll will just... It. But the, a lot of the things have been donated, yeah. Yeah, by like indi individuals mm -hmm. and stuff that just have like one little thing sitting in their house. And, right, right. And they turn it into the museum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, soon enough you'll start getting Nintendos in here, right? And At mm -hmm. Atari's. That's a that's a part of history. No. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty nice. I like this museum in that you could just go down the line looking one way, and then I could turn around and look the other way. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are kind of a maze. Do you know how long this museum has been here? Um, yeah, the Freedmans owned it. Um, it the was, Freedmen, what did it used to be? What um, was this, what was this design to, intended it for? It used to be, well, it used to be quite a few things. Uh, oh. First the Freedmans owned it and it was a store. A store? And a store they, of this shape? Yeah, and then they used it for a warehouse. Hmm. And Must, then, yeah. uh, the, it was, uh, um, a liquor store. Yeah. Um, and uh, their first movie theater. They had a theater. How would you set up a theater? It's just for like know. a few seats. I, I don't know, but they they because it's so narrow. That's what I. Think. It is. Yeah. And, and it was Incredibly an opera narrow. house for a while. An opera house. Yeah. Well, it's only a town. And yes, yeah, it was you know smaller town back then. And, yeah. Uh, Knights of Labor were here for a while. Well, and are it was you, armory for the. Is this, oh, yeah. is this one of those towns that was highly populated in the late, late 1800s during yeah, the, 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 had like during a, the mining boom. had like a thousand people in it and then, and then it just dropped after yeah, the boom. the boom didn't last very long. Yeah, it was pretty, pretty short. Cause that seems to be what happened to a lot of these towns around, yeah. around here like Idaho City and stuff. <laughs> A bone ash cupel. That's just for processing the ores. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was reading somebody used quicksilver to process gold or whatever. What's? I don't know how that works. That's. There's a lot about that processing stuff. I've, um, I'm not too familiar with. Here's a Model A car over here. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's, it's in really good condition. Trying to distract me from looking at this other stuff, huh? Well, no, I tell everybody that. <laughs> There's a lot of neat stuff in here. Yeah. These old typewriters are... Yeah, these are from the 70s or something, right. huh? Yeah, we used to have one like this. 60s, maybe? We used to have this royal with... The, well, ours was, was lower, though, and smaller. It wasn't so wide like this one. 
What? Those no, are, no. This is for being in the mines, yeah, so you don't those slip. Are, those are old mining shoes. Yeah. And they would shine them. Mm-hmm. And there's a mock mine if you want to walk. Yeah, you can walk with this. Oh, if you want to. <laughs> Where's the? How do you turn the light on? Do you twist? That, that might not work. I don't know. Oh, it's just. Well, there's got to be a like a button maybe. Maybe when you turn when you put it on, it turns on. I think they're. They're, no, they're, they're for too, kids. They're for kids, yeah, that's why they're too big. Too there's small, no light yeah. inside? Nope, there's not supposed to be a light. <laughs> oh, well, it's nothing. Yeah, it's just a dark mine. Steam driven. Do you know about that accident that happened? A uh, hundred guys died in the 70s? Up, up in the northern part of Idaho? There was a mining accident and there was an explosion and it killed a hundred miners underground. They made a monument up north uh, to honor them. One of the biggest mining disasters in U.S. history. Well, I'm not originally from uh, Idaho. Okay, where are you from? Uh, well, I lived a long time in, in Las Vegas. Oh, wow. Um, this must be a big change for you. Well, not really, because I, you know, I grew up in, in uh, Wisconsin and Minnesota. Oh yeah, I, I came from Rice Lake, Wisconsin. Did you? But I, you know, I still consider myself homeless. Oh wait, no, it's home free. Somebody de redefine that for me. Mm -hmm. I'm home free. But yeah, where can you say? Probably the southern part of Wisconsin, right? That's usually the most commonly populated. Uh yeah, well, I was in the, um, it was near, um, south, it was near southeastern Minnesota. Okay, um, yeah. It was right near the border. Like yeah, we oh, lived, yeah. We lived in the sticks, you know. So you could. <laughs> Until I was 10, we lived in, it was rural, rural uh, area. It was the sticks, so it was kind of swampy. Yep. And uh, we lived in Thomas 10. Yeah, it was kind of swampy. It was, yeah, it's, it can get that way. It's, yeah, they, it's you know, this that, time of year, it's it's really that humid. That particular area was kind of swampy, but 13 miles away in Minnesota, it wasn't, you know. Yeah. It was the wooded hills the, there. Oh, okay, higher so, country. Yeah, we went to uh, school there. We lived in Wisconsin in the, in the country. We went to school 13 miles away. And, 13. Oh, that's a long distance for, you know, it to is. travel. Wow. It is. And we, we went three of those years. I, we were in a, a small car with no heat. That's oh, yeah. It gets really cold. cold. Really cold back then. Yeah. It gets cold. So, have you been here in the, in the wintertime in this area? Yeah. What's, the, what's like, this, how does snow? Well, is it pretty it, thick? It, it snows, Deep? you know, fair, it, yeah. It snows. Because It'll stop, will it stop traffic then, then, until the snow plows get through? Well, the main street, they keep plowed because of tourists. Yeah. But the side streets... <laughs> you, you won't be able to drive yeah, through them? on your own, you don't know. Ford, Ford Focus, would a Ford Focus get through a, a major snowstorm around here? No. Okay, it's pretty thick. It'll yeah. go a lot of snow, and then it'll melt. There won't be any snow for quite a while. And then, yep. then, you know, back and forth. Does it melt fast? Well, you still have to have snow plows, also. No, it doesn't melt that yeah, fast. Yeah, I was about to say, snow plows mean it's... Like in, in, uh, in Oregon, uh, whatever, that, the, that big city in Oregon. Uh, Portland? Portland, yeah, yeah. Portland, that's the one. What's the... It it's don't they don't sense. they don't even bother having snow plows because even they could have like a f two feet of snow but they're like they don't need snow plows for that because it melts fast right. enough. Right. Is this for beekeeping? Mm. You guys have a beekeep old beekeeping tin corn cedar. Interesting. Do you get many people in the museum? But, you know, more the, the weekend type um, of thing? The weekends are busier usually, yeah. <clears throat> usually are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of neat stuff. There was a lot of people on, um, at the 4th of July, while well, the 4th of July parade was going on. 
Yeah. Are you are you familiar? I'm sorry to interrupt. I mean, I just I have specific questions that just pop in my head when you talk. Yeah. And it's just like I just wanna. Uh, I hear there's a running of the sheep up up north, and that that I forget the name of that city again. Gotcha. But yeah, it's, that's like in not this weekend, but the next weekend. Yeah. Is that have you ever been to any of that? To, mm, it doesn't oh. really amount. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> They run the sheep through. Is there a history? Is there any history ref reference to that? Not really. Okay. I talked to this one guy and he said all it was is a big pain in the butt. We it tried, is. We try to get them through as fast as we, we can. Yeah. There's, you know, sheep uh, shit all over the place. Oh, no doubt. They're, they're scared. And, and so they... but, but then they wanted to make a tourist thing out of it. So that it is, it. yeah. So I... that, then they had a little brochure and then shit, the sheep run out <laughs> Yeah, it's a big. He said it was just kind of. A there's, thing. there's like it's like a four day festival, and they're doing all kinds of like things that cost money. It looks like classes or something they're teaching. They cost money, or something like that. that I wasn't even aware they had classes. There's something that's like on the website that has like starts on the seventh or something or the eighth, and the sheep are running. Maybe it starts on the sixth. The sheep are running on the. Good old cut off. That's familiar. That's a mining, there's a mining reference with that. But, um, yeah, it's it's more than just running of the sheep. There's there's all kinds of classes or something going on. Yeah, I'm not aware of that. I don't know where classes are. Or just, I don't know, seminars, maybe? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And they're called, they're not called rancheros, it's a particular Spanish type of people that uh, came up here specifically for sheep herding. Oh, they're, okay. they're, they're called yeah. something special, I forget. Oh, what the heck is the name of this thing? I, yeah, I, I want to call uh, them rancheros. Somebody told me when I was... Huskers are, I don't know. Basque. Basque, that's the one. That's it. They're Basque yeah, people. Um, and it's a culture. Yeah. Uh, the food I heard is real good. It's a combination of French and Spanish. There's a there's a restaurant and or something. When there's... I was in my twenties, this guy said that he was in Europe and, you know, uh, around Basque people, and he said you look just like them. You look like a Basque person. Oh. Well, I look different. I, I'm in my sixties. I was in my twenties. Yeah, <laughs> he was just hitting on you, right? He was oh no, flirtatious. No, I wasn't dating him. <laughs> oh. No, it's just somebody I ran across. I can't even remember what he looked like. Hmm. Oh, Ezra Pond, that reminds me. Hmm. Hemingway killed himself up north in that that town. That's that's yeah. kind of unfortunate. Well, you know, he had so much wrong with him physically. Oh, yeah, he's he's um, about sixty one or so. I was looking. I was looking at this one book at the library, and I, I'm thinking. It's amazing he lived as long as he did. Yeah. He could stand to live as long as he did. Oh. He had seven concussions. Oh, man. He had a whole lot more mini concussions. Yeah. He was in two plane accidents, and so, you know, he had a, a very damaged back. He had so much wrong with him. And, um... Huh. Oh, there he is. Anyway, okay. He made the mistake got... of, um... Letting them do, he, you know, was depressed. Well, I, you know, it makes you depressed when you're suffering. Physical pain all yeah, the time. suffering you're, all that. Yeah, well, physical pain is just, you know, hmm. but yeah, physical pain is a real bummer. But um, they talked him into electroshock therapy. Oh, that's a good really choice. You, oh, you don't like that? Well, you don't think it's good? It, uh, you have. Cause that's you have electrical frequencies that go yeah. around your body. That's all acupuncture that space. Should never, should never be disturbed. Yeah. And uh, electroshock therapy when yeah. you're being electrocuted. Yeah. Okay? So it disturbs them permanently. That's he did that though. He he tried that. Well, he regretted it. And it turned out to yeah, it turned out to be kind of a bad you know, choice. I think it's always a bad choice, but that's my opinion. Yeah, so there's yeah, there's some people. I worked in a um, psychiatric ward. And I, you I, did. I think it's always many. many you mean choices. an actual official, one of those state-sanctioned ones? No, that are, no, it oh, was private. Okay. It was it was a private one. It wasn't. X-ray image. That's amazing. But um. Did you shoot? You just kind of. This is how you get the picture. Shoot that. 
Man, that's... Yeah, an awful lot of radiation. So they didn't have pictures, too. A few pictures by that or mm -hmm. something. See what the effects are. So, anyway, uh, he, what it can do a lot of times is... It, it, well, it can do all kinds of bad things to you. But mm -hmm. one of the things is uh, destroying your memory. And, you know, and, and it... it the electroshock you. therapy can, yeah, have have uh, negative implications. Oh God! Um, and so, I mean, without a memory, you have nothing to write with. That's oh, what, that's what you write with, you know. Yeah. And so that and all I, his physical problems. Um, yeah, I, I just they didn't they didn't say anything about that on Wikipedia, but you know, it's Wikipedia yeah. is not going to offer everything. Uh -huh. That's that's yeah, fascinating. Kind of give you a thumbprint. You know? Yeah, it's, yeah it's, he, he did a lot of physical things, you know, that were risky. He was, he, he was, was active. He, yeah, yeah, he, he was, was very... Outdoorsman. I mean, and being... And so he got a lot of injuries from that, and mm -hmm. injuries bring a lot of pain, so... Yeah, he's, I mean, being associated with up north. I keep forgetting the city, I don't know why. Ketchum. Ketchum, yeah, ke ketchup. I gotta call it ketchup, and it's ketchum, <laughs> okay. And, uh... Yeah, he, I mean, he's been like, you know, Cuba, Florida, he's oh, he, Spain. Oh, I saw this picture. Oh, he spent a lot of time he's, in, in Europe. He and, had this incredible home. Oh, hi, Jack. Oh, yeah. Hi. Do you mind signing in? You just keep track of where everyone comes from. Sure. Thanks. Um, he, I saw this picture. He had this incredible... Uh, home on, on land uh, in Cuba. Cuba, it's oh yeah. Outside of uh, outside of uh, Havana somewhere, and it was oh, it was so beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, you know oh, the uh, driveway area, or just it, just the whole area around the house was all fruit trees. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Did you stop here visiting? Yep. Been one day. 